happy spring in my last couple of videos we talked all propagation because this is propagation season right so i propagated my pothos my syndapsis my philodendrons all those plants oh i'm so excited i can't wait till they grow but one of the things that i wanted to share with you today was what i did to the mother plant to prepare her before i actually cut her I also want to share with you a DIY bug spray formula. It's actually a formula that's been floating around here on YouTube already, but I made it small enough to fit into a 17 ounce container. So before we get started, I wanted to say a big welcome to everybody. My name is Yvette Boone. I'm a lifelong creative hobbyist and here on this channel, we create a safe space for black women to incorporate creative hobbies into their wellness practice. So let's get into the three steps that I take to prepare my house plants for propagation. Step one is I clean that house plant. Spring cleaning season and propagation season go hand in hand. And before I propagate my plants, the first thing I want to do is I want to take it into my shower and clean her good. I take that shower head and I spray the top of the leaves, the bottom of the leaves. I spray through the dirt. As you know, I'm a bottom waterer. So typically I'm watering from the bottom, but now I want to flush everything out. Any salts that have been deposited, any fertilizer that may have collected in there, I want to wash everything out. So I'm running water through the dirt and allowing it to come through freely. I'm actually watering my plant while I'm cleaning my plant with clean, clear water, no nutrients, no nothing, just clean, clear water. And I wash it all down. Step two, during this washing session, I take and I spray my plant down with bug spray, the top of the leaves, the bottom of the leaves, the dirt, the pot, everything if there is a bug in the dirt and on it whatever we're getting it off we want them gone so between the cleaning session and the the bug spray we're actually cleaning the leaves there's water already there so between the water and the bug spray that is riding down that leaf and it's cleaning everything up we're getting rid of dirt we're getting rid of debris and any bugs that are on there so before we go any further, let's get into this bug spray. So like I said, I found a popular, very popular <laughs> bug spray formula on YouTube. I will link that video in the description if you want to see how he made it, but I'll go through the steps here. What I did with that formula though, is I took and reduced the batch size down so it would fit into my 17 ounce container. From what I understand, you want to use this up quickly or actually it's more the most potent when you first make the formula. However, I use this stuff to clean my pots, my LECA. I will use this to clean it because it's soap in here. So let's go through the formula. To make this 17 ounce spray, it's like roughly 16 and a half ounces. Um, it's two cups of water, one tablespoon of cast out peppermint soap, one tablespoon of cast out tea tree soap, one quarter cup of 70% isopropyl alcohol, and three quarters of a teaspoon of 3% hydrogen peroxide. And it's just mixed together. You can spray this. I have used a formula similar to this on orchids on african violets and you know they are they have very tender leaves sometimes so and i've used this on my, my house plants now i've used a different formula but pretty much the same ingredients i've used this for years so it's very safe it's safe around your children and your pets all the things so check out his video it was the video from off liquid dirt's youtube channel so yeah love this so if you found this formula or even the breakdown of this formula to a smaller batch helpful, give this video a like. If you have not subscribed yet, come on and join the family. Come on, subscribe. So you can step three is in your next watering session, 
you want to water your plant with your nutrient solution. Now, typically I have used Super Thrive in the past, but I wanted to try this liquid dirt. I purchased liquid dirt probably about a year ago, um, maybe even longer, but I was still using up my Super Thrive. I wanted to use it all up first before I used the liquid dirt. And so I just mixed up this batch of the concentrate. I didn't realize it was a little more complicated than I thought it was gonna be. So I made up this batch of the concentrate, which then makes this solution that you use inside of your pots. So step three is I use that batch of nutrient solution that I just mixed up. I use that batch to feed my plants going forward. I use a half a cup of this in the water to feed my plant before I cut her. So, Okay, so I've done a little bit of shopping. No plants, kind of no plants, but I bought some planty things. So I got them from Timu. I was watching a video by Carmen Whitehead here on YouTube. I'll put her channel in the description. And she did a, a haul from Timu, Planty Haul. And she had a coupon in her, in her um, video. So you might want to check her out if you want to snag you a discount from Timu. And they were having an Earth Day sale, I want to say. So this has, it's been a minute, a slight minute maybe, um, but I wanted to open this up here so you guys can see what I got. So I got some things outside of planty things, but um, just a couple. I actually got, wow, this looks really small. So this is a um tarp you know like to oh yeah this is pretty small but this is really cute though so if i want to do a small plant i can actually just you know button these up and it will create a nice little tarp little area for me to um repot and help me to clean up mess a lot easier um so this is cute um Definitely for smaller plants, not for anything large. Okay. And I got a bigger one. I actually did get a bigger one. I knew I was getting two sizes, but I didn't think it was that small. <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. I'm, I'm going to be using that forward. Ooh, this is big. Perfect. Okay, yes. And it's it's got a plastic inside. The outside is still, it's still you know, wipeable. But the inside is a smoother plastic. Okay, perfect. Okay, yes. Both of them are green, which is my favorite color. Okay. There we go. And yeah. This is way smaller than I thought it was going to be. Don't you hate when that happens? It I promise you I thought this was bigger than this. Um, matter of fact, it doesn't have any markings on it whatsoever. To tell you where anything is. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't, I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't like that. But it's cute. I felt like, I felt like it was, I thought it was three quarts. Which would be like almost a gallon, I think. But this looks nothing like that. So, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't think that's, I don't think that's going to cut it. And I got like a little 
scooper with some little tools inside to help when you're planting. I don't like putting my bare hands in the dirt. So this kind of helps when you are trying to um, fill a small pot. So this is nice because this will do a really small pot, which is what I bought it for. And I want to say everything else is non-plant related. I got one more thing that I am super excited about. I haven't even looked inside yet, but they are plant stickers. So I got these actually so that I can put them like on my um, journal. Oh, these are so cute. Look. They are so cute. They were literally like a dollar. I just thought it was super cute. That's all. Um, there are like a hundred of these in here. So I think they are. Oh, my goodness. Who doesn't like that? <laughs> so cute. I love that. I love that. <laughs> okay, so I've already made my nutrient water. So I've already taken the liquid dirt and made the concentrate out of it. And then I will take the concentrate, this here, and I will add a half a cup of this to my water, to water my plants with. So I will do that in that same container. I thought it was going to be this container, which is why I opened this here. But clearly this is not going to hold a gallon. So 14 drops of this, two cups of the concentrate, the tea looking like the tea concentrate. This is liquid dirt. This is fertilizer. And so those two combined, I'm going to be using going forward in my plants that are already planted. I will not be using this for my propagations. So we're gonna reiterate those three steps. The first step is to clean her off really well, under leaves, on top of the leaves, the dirt, the pot, everything. Spray with your bug spray during that session, right? On the on the next watering session, right? You didn't, it's not, in three days, it's not back to back, but in your next watering session is when you want to then feed the nutrient solution. So that way your plant is good and ready to be cut. And it's no problem because I typically go through my entire plant collection and spray everything down during the spring season, I will do this twice. So two, two watering sessions back to back. The first one was with the clear water and you cleaned everything off. The second one is straight on the plant. I don't necessarily have to get the plant wet, the, the literal plant wet. I'll just spray this directly on the plant. When I'm watering, I will go ahead on and spray again. At that time, within a day or so, I'm ready to propagate. I'm ready. So to if you've liked anything in this video, give this video a like. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Come on, join the family so you'll know what's going on next. Matter of fact, my next video is going to be about my dirty little secret. And it's about propagation. It's a dirty secret. And I'm going to share it with you because why not? <laughs> so stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead on and subscribe. Until we talk again, have a great day. Bye.